Hi, this is Tom Harper with Avidyne, and if you're looking to upgrade your GNS 430 series uh, to an Avidyne IFD 440, I wanted to kind of show you some of the cool features. If you know how to operate your 430 or 430W, you can fly the 440. We intentionally made several of the main operational functions identical in operation so that you could jump in and fly away and be able to uh, fly confidently, including the default comm frequency readouts. Uh, we have your comm here and your comm here, and then you simply have to push the left knob to get the nav frequencies. The direct to button operates the same as the legacy navigator, so you just push the direct to, enter your waypoint, and hit enter. You can use the knobs just like on the 430. The outer knob moves the cursor, inner knob changes the data, or if you touch right here, you get a QWERTY keyboard, which we'll talk about. The PROC button for your loading procedures and approaches, etc. operates very similarly. We have a little nicer menuing system, but uh, operates very cleanly and familiar. Radio tuning via the left knobs and waypoint entry via the right knobs, so that we've made it match. It mimics, so you can jump in and you can tune the radios exactly like you did on your 430. And, of course, the enter and the clear buttons operate as you'd expect. So that's the nice thing is those basic functions operate the same. So why would you upgrade then? Well, there's plenty of other cool features that the 440 adds. Uh, it's going to have a much bigger display, 40% more screen area, 500% more pixels, and 65,000 colors versus 8 colors. So you get a lot more vivid display like you'd expect with the modern navigator. Hybrid touch. Well, we've added touch screen, so that's a new feature you'll get. Notice we've left all the knobs and buttons as well, so it gives you, the pilot, the choice. You're not stuck with just touch or just knobs, what we call hybrid touch. We have this easy page and tab user interface, which eliminates the nested menus and the unmarked pages that you've seen in the previous uh, legacy navigators and uh, even some of the other newer ones. The page and tab user interface means you can get to any page in one or two clicks. The 440 has geofill, which is which dramatically reduces keystrokes for entering waypoints. It predicts the waypoint as you're entering based on geography rather than alphabetical. We have a QWERTY style keyboard that comes up on the screen when you want to enter a waypoint. It makes it super easy. Couple that with geofill. You enter in the first couple of characters and geofill will predict and fill in the rest for you. It makes data entry much quicker. Uh, that means less head downtime, so you can be have your head up and out the window. And finally, uh, easy airway planning. Much easier to enter the airways based on the flight plan that you're on. It'll ask you select the airway, select the exit point, and all the intermediate waypoints will automatically be loaded for you. And of course, it's a slide-in replacement, so it's going to use the same tray connectors and wiring as your 430. You can simply pull out the 430W. Your dealer can put in the 440. Uh, there are a few caveats based on uh, some of the new features that the 440 has, like terrain alerting audio and uh, the ability to monitor the standby comm. It will actually listen on the standby radio if you have it wired to your audio panel. So you'll want to add those features as well. If you have questions, contact your Avidine dealer, or you can reach out to Avidine at pilotsupport at avidine.com. For install questions, we have tech support at avidine.com. Or you can reach out to me at marketing at avidine.com. Check out all our other videos online as well. Thanks, everybody. Fly safe and have a great day.